Correct. We've got some new developments tied to the crash of Asiana Flight 214. Both the NTSB and the Fox affiliate in San Francisco doing some damage control after a hoax that misidentified the pilots. Well, now that airline is planning legal action. NBC's Tom Costello has the latest on the story. Tom, good morning to you. Hi, Savannah. Good morning. This has certainly strained relations between the NTSB and Asiana Airlines. The head of the NTSB has been in touch with her counterpart in Korea. And this morning, Asiana says it intends to sue a San Francisco TV station for defamation and reputational damage after that station unwittingly went on the air with a hoax. It was during the noon newscast on Friday that KTVU went on the air with what it said was breaking news, the names of the pilots on flight 214. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Too Low, Ho Li and Bang Ding Ow. KTVU seemed to be the unwitting victims of a hoax using racial stereotypes aimed at the pilots. But how did it happen? KTVU said it had confirmed the names with the NTSB. The NTSB tells NBC News a summer college intern in Washington answered the phone and instead of forwarding the call to NTSB staffers, acted outside the scope of his authority when he erroneously confirmed the names of the flight crew on the aircraft. The NTSB has apologized. We are sorry. And KTVU has admitted to several mistakes. First of all, we never read the names out loud, phonetically sounding them out. Then during our phone call to the NTSB, where the person confirmed the spellings of the names, we never asked that person to give us their position within the agency. The hoax overshadowed two other tragic developments. The death of a third victim from the crash, a child who died on Friday, and confirmation that another child, 16-year-old Yi Ming Yan, was run over by a responding fire engine as her body lay under the foam that had already been sprayed on the burning plane. The coroner has not yet said whether that contributed to her death. We're told that there is deep public anger and resentment in Korea over this matter with the fake pilot names. The NTSB has a policy of never releasing names, which makes this matter with the summer intern all the more troubling. We're told the agency will be taking appropriate action today to ensure this doesn't happen again. Savannah. What a story. Tom Costello in Washington. Thank you.